Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to get around the problem where you can't upgrade or update your computer when you get a message that says something like, we couldn't update the system reserved partition, so if there is not enough room in this partition, uh, then you're not going to be able to perform the upgrade. So if we go into disk management, you can see here we have our EFI system partition, 100 megabytes, and then if we were to right click here, we could see it says convert to MBR, which is telling us this is a GPT disk. So when you use a GPT disk, you can't increase the size of this partition, even if you use a third party application. If this was an MBR disk, then you can increase the size of this partition using one of these third party apps. So we have one of them open here. So this is Niobe Partition Editor. So this is a great tool. There is a free version and also a portable version. So this is the portable version where you don't have to install anything. So it comes in handy when it comes to doing things that Windows Disk Management cannot. All right, so you can see here we have the same thing here. Our 100 megabyte EFI system partition. And this has 62 megabytes free. So there's actually plenty of space in this situation here. But if yours is actually full or not enough room, we're going to show you how to hopefully get around that. Then you also see here we have this GPT reserved partition, which is 16 megabytes. So here are the differences between the two. So you're most likely, you know, using UEFI instead of a regular legacy BIOS for Windows 11, probably for Windows 10 as well, and most likely using GPT instead of MBR. And then this partition is formatted FAT32, and it's used to store bootloaders and BCD for UEFI. It's mandatory for UEFI boot, while this one's for MBR boot. And this one will still store information about the BitLocker files and so on. All right, so also if we right click on this, try and resize it, we can't do anything with it. It's kind of stuck there. So even the third party tools won't let you do anything with it. One possible way to get around is if you had some free space next to it, but if you have this GPT partition as well, that's not going to help you. Because in order to expand a partition, you have to have the free space right next to it. You can't have anything in between. Alright, so how we're going to get around this is we're going to try and increase the space of the EFI system partition. So to do that, we're going to need to open an administrative command prompt. So CMD, run as administrator. So obviously you'll need to be an administrator to do this. All right, so the first command we're going to do is we're going to mount this volume with the drive letter Y. So this volume here with this command. So let's paste this in. All right, so now we're there. All right, so now we need to go to that directory. So first we need to type in Y to get to that drive. All right, so now we're going to go to the fonts directory here by doing a CD into that path there. All right. Now we're going to see what font files are there. So we could do directory with the Y, or we could just probably just do DIR as well. All right, so you can see all these font files we have. So now we're going to delete everything in this directory with the delete start out star. So make sure you're in the fonts folder, not the boot folder, because then it will delete everything there. So you want to make sure you're in this fonts folder and do that directory just to make sure you see these TTF files. All right, so we're going to paste that in. But before we do, let's see what kind of space we have. So 62.7 megabytes free right now. All right, let's see what happens. All right, so we just need to say yes to agree to delete everything here. All right, so now we do DIR again. All right, so it actually shows us our free space there, which you can compare to this here, 65 megabytes. Now we have 79. And if we go back here and refresh, now we have 75. All right, so now to unmount it, we can do the same command here. But with a D. And now it's unmounted. So once you have that done, hopefully it's enough space to get your update or upgrade completed. All right, so I will put this information in the description. I'll probably clean it up a little bit for you. 
and then you could try that out and hopefully that's enough to get you going and then you should always do a backup before you start playing around with your hard drives and partitions as well just to make sure in case something goes wrong all right thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe Thank mm -hmm. you.